Hello, V Peter and Rose Fans. My name is Outlet Rose Peter. Going today, we are to a creep show, creep in our house by Jillian and Addy laugh. So um, so um, I hope you like that reaction. I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's get started. In three, two, one, play. Okay. But I don't want that creepy poster in our room. What's the matter? You guys like creep show? We just resent the way you're encroaching upon our territory. Oh? No, we resent his arbitrary use of patriarchal power. Okay, Addy. Daddy, violence is the supreme authority from which all other authorities are derived. That's not true. You're just quoting Starship Troopers. Kids, kids, the important thing is... You should respect this poster, or something bad might happen. Okay. Oh, something okay. bad might happen? Because we disrespected a movie poster? I don't know. It seems like something that might happen around here. Anyway, I'm heading out. I won't be back for a while. I'm going to lock you in and take away your phones, too. Bye. Wait a minute. Why are you taking away their phones for? What are they in trouble? What they do? Why does he keep getting us into these situations? Exactly. I don't know, but he can't stop me from disrespecting that movie poster. I specifically disrespect that movie poster without any regard for the consequences. Okay, Addy. Ah! Who knew there would be consequences? I am the creep show creep. You know, the one from the movie poster. Yeah, we kind of figured that part out. You will be visited by five creep show monsters. Much like the ghosts in that Charles Dickens tale. But then they'll leave, right? No, you must defeat them. Are you one of the ones we have to defeat? Because we haven't got all day, you know. Uh, no, I'm more like kind of a host who checks in occasionally, stares through windows, you know, that sort of thing. Stares through windows? No wonder they call you a creep. So are we supposed to just wait for the monsters, or what? Um, no, just sort of stay here and wait until you hear a sound. No, and if you could leave the door unlocked, that would really help. Wow. You that seems legit. legit. Bye, creep. So, Jillian, what do you know about this creep show movie, anyway? What, do you want me to explain things in exhaustive detail, or should we just let things play out from here and I'll explain as they go on? Well, any idea what might come first? Well, if it plays out like the movie, then the first thing should be a zombie. Yep, those oh, zombies are The zombie's here, and I left my bat down in the dark basement. Why do you keep doing that? I mean, the closet's right over there. Let's just get this over with. Oh my god, are you serious? How about this? How about you guys just run out of the house? How about you guys and Wilson just run out of the house, girls? I want my cake! The creep show zombie! You knew you were coming. Okay. A real zombie, Addy. What are we gonna do? That's lost. Relax, it. relax. We'll just get the guy his rake like he asked for and we'll send him on his way. He didn't say I want my rake. He said I want my cake. Dang it! <laughs> well, where are we gonna get a cake on such short notice? I think there might be some ho hos in the kitchen, but I'm not going past that thing. What? Mm, and I guess this thing doesn't count as a cake, does it? Really, Addy? That does count as a cake. Where did you get it? Remember that surprise beach trip we were gonna give Dad? Guess I'll have to wait another ten years. Let's just give the cake to the zombie, honey. Ah, uh, yeah, your voice is more important. I want my cake. And get the cake. Well, wouldn't you know, I just happen to have one. Here you go. Yep, and it's very nice. I appreciate it's very nice. I feel like, I, feel, I, feel, I think that, um, I think that blue part's blueberry. I know about the other part. I know what you're thinking. That beach theme's more suited for the other creep show segment. But it's the best we could do on short notice. Well, at least he's being grateful. Let them eat cake. You had your moment. You missed it. What's he doing? So, what monster's next? Godzilla? King Kong? You've never seen Creepshow, have you? I think I've made that pretty clear. The next monster should be Jordy Verrill. Who? Jordy Verrill? Isn't that a NASCAR driver? No, he's a country bumpkin played by Stephen King. He slowly turns into a pile of weeds. Ah! Stephen King! As a pile of weeds... <laughs> 
these girls have a lot of Stevie King books in their house. Addie shouldn't be surprised. Also, by the way, if you didn't notice, um, the one with the green shirt is Addie. She, is that is Addie or Adelaide? She's fourteen, and the one with the lotso like sweater, she's Jillian and she's sixteen. Jillian's the older sister, and Addie's the younger sister. Let's go get him before he calls his literary agent. Oh, is that green shirt? I know, but it looks green to me. I don't know. Is that him? Ah, it's a guy in a ghillie suit. Gil- <laughs> what? Jillian, was that really Stephen King? Well, he does grow a beard every fall. Well, how do we defeat this pile of weeds? Well, if he's made of weeds, then we need something that can kill weeds. You know what I'm saying? But the lawnmower is in the garage. No, we use weed killer. That looks like Windex. Shh, he doesn't know that. But it won't work on him. But so try it anyways. It's time to be a hero. Fluttering feathers. Stephen King or Jordy Verrill or whatever your name is, we got something for you. You see this? Let us spray. Let us spray? Oh, let us spray. I got it. Wait, Julian. <laughs> Goodbye. I thought I thought I would make him disappear. Ooh, I think he got some in his eyes. Ooh, I'm sorry. Not really. Oh. That's happening. It occurs to me that we might have just cured Stephen King of his little weed problem. Forget about Stephen King. What's coming next? E.T.? That was last episode. Well, at least we know it's not going to be another zombie. We already had one of those. Jillian, why are you looking at me like that? It's totally going to be another zombie. Oh, come on! But it was... There was... Who directed this thing? George Romero? Jillian, why are you looking at me like that? It was totally directed by George Romero. Oh, come on, an ad. George Romero. Ah, another zombie, and we're all out of cake. You don't think this one would want to rake, do you? Let's just answer the door. Use the way to defend yourselves. Use the way to defend yourselves. That would, that would work. I have superpowers. So- Ah, it's the seaweed zombie! Wait, he looks kind of familiar. Perhaps you recognize him as Ted Danson from Cheers. Not what I was thinking of. Anyway, how do we defeat this one? Wait a minute, he looks like the zombie they faced in that It Followed Us Home video on the Scary Channel. I don't know, this one is kind of a revenge arc, and we didn't do anything, except disrespect a movie poster. Maybe we can just send him back to the sea. You got an airplane ticket? No, because someone used all my points. Hey, I had to have that wig. Seaweed zombie, we don't have an ocean nearby, but we do have a pool in our backyard. Perhaps you should go check it out. Elementary rig. Don't you do that, Addy? So the trilogy of terror has ended. This isn't a trilogy, there's five segments. The creep literally told us that. Hi. So what's next? Some killer monkey-like creature that lives in a box? Actually, yeah, that's exactly what's next. Really? I was just pre-associating. Wow, that was quick. I wonder if he passed the zombie in the hallway. Perhaps they'll become friends. Perhaps maybe even more. Eh, I think Seaweed Zombie already has a girlfriend. Oh, hi, Addy. I see what you're doing. Anyways, let's see this. Where is it? Ah, there's absolutely nothing! Wait, I think it came from around the corner. Come on. And you're gonna go check it out? Why why not let it it come to you? Box? What's so scary about a box? Oh, this is one of the- Oh, I get it. Fluffy the Quake Monster! From the other creep show video on this channel. That's the crate that the monkey like creature is in. Well, we haven't got all day. Hey, monkey like creature! It's Fluffy the Crate Monster! Hi, Fluffy. Ah, 
It's the Creep Monster! I'm supposed to be running. Well, I guess I'll go get the weed spray again. Wait a minute, didn't we defeat a monkey-like creature in a crate a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I guess that's possible, especially in this house. Well, how did we defeat him then? We'll just do it again. Give him snacks. Because it worked so well the first time. Uh, you gave him sweet as fish, I believe. I mean, he came back. Hey, if we can get rid of him for a few more months, that's good enough. We just tricked him back into the box using some Swedish fish and then shipped him off. You sure you don't need a rake? Oh, wait, I just gave that away. Yeah. I think these will work. Here you go, big guy. Take the Swedish fish and go away. Now ship him off to, like, I don't know, York. To ship, ship him somewhere to, like, Pennsylvania or something. He's going back in the crate. Come on. Wait, wait a minute. This end's latched shut. They're willing to be close. Oh, I think he's getting suspicious. Let's call the delivery service. Wait a minute, I don't the the really just say something the episode, but That was weird. I mean, we weren't even wearing the same clothes. Yeah. It's just one of those strange things that happens in this house and certainly doesn't mean we're recycling old footage. Yeah, that would yes. be nice. Come on. It doesn't mean you use old footage. Julie and I never sit on this side. This feels really weird. Well, this is a horror video, isn't it? I don't know. No, it's on the last channel. Yeah. Don't worry, there should just be one more segment, and this is all over. Is this the scene where we find out it was the butler all along? The no, butler? there's no butler in Creepshow. Well, who is the guy in the ghillie suit? He's not the butler. Well, I'll take whatever it is, as long as it's nothing too creepy crawly. Jillian, why are you looking at me like that? It's totally something creepy crawly. Alright, okay. What is it then? As long as it's not cockroaches. You know I can't handle cockroaches. Jillian, why are you looking at Oh my at god, it's a cockroach. It's cockroaches. I don't like cockroaches. Uh, let's just get this over with. Let's just get a little insects. I have a friend who's an insect. Man, that's a lot of cockroaches. We'll be okay as long as they don't jump. <laughs> What are you doing? Cockroaches, Jillian, everyone's least favorite form of roaches. Don't worry, don't worry. I have a plan. That's weed spray. Actually, it's Windex, but they don't know that. This better work, Jillian. Cockroaches aren't as gullible as Stephen King. They they, they aren't? I had I hadn't I didn't notice. There you are, scurrying around like a bunch of little cockroaches. I don't want to use this, but I will. So you gotta ask yourself, are you feeling lucky, punk? Punks. Eh, they do listen to reason. I think they were responding to the threat of force. Ah, so you do admit that violence is the supreme authority from which all other authorities are derived. Well, they were bugs and starship troopers, after all. <laughs> So that's it then? No more monsters? Unless the creep show creep comes back. Well, what's he do? He said he was just the host. I don't know. He, like, waves his hand and flies or something. Pretty lame. Wait, I think it's coming. No, it's your dad. Hey, guys. How was your day? Did you spend it respecting the poster? No. Not cool, man. There were zombies. There were cockroaches. Hey, nothing wrong with a little tough love, am I right? You know, Addy, there is one more segment. Oh, really? Is it one where the dad gets his comeuppance? Actually, it is. Happen to have a voodoo doll or anything? What? Mm, not a voodoo doll, but this professor doll. Dad kind of identifies with him. That'll work. You know what to do. Sorry, professor. <sighs> Man, you guys are a real pain in the neck. Pain in the neck? Oh, that was really bad. Yeah, he deserves this. <gasps> We got merch, yes we do, we got merch, how about you? If you like Jillian and Maddie videos, you're gonna love our merch. With a wide variety of products and designs, there's something for everyone. Just click on... Okay, my preachers, that video was very interesting, and I and I really find, found it funny. Um, yeah. But okay, guys, I'm just gonna do it right here. I hope you did. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!